Ryan and Denny, you're going to be two news anchors in a studio. Colin, you're going to be in the field as the uh, field reporter, covering a breaking news story. Problem with him is he can't see what's behind him on the screen. Only we can see it here in the studio, and our little studio monitor's there, and you can see it at home. And he has to try to guess what it is behind him and where he is. So uh, whenever you guys are ready, start the scene, and let's go. Is it easier if you're drunk first? Or? Yeah, I'll, I'll usually feel bad oh. about it. Oh. Uh, we interrupt this program for a special news bulletin. I'm Jim Furley. And I'm covered in fur. <laughs> and we're going out to the scene live with our news action reporter, Colin Mockery. Colin, can you hear us? Yes, I can. As you can see, things have quieted down a bit. But about an hour ago, it was just nuts. You know, I never, I never believed I would see this, but I'm starting to believe it now. I tell you, I couldn't believe my eyes. Colin, I still can't. Colin, what, what started the whole thing here? How did this start up? Well, as far as I can tell, it all started with a price check. <laughs> and then I don't know how it escalated to this, but I haven't seen this much action since my wedding night. concern that children are watching and this could be scarring. Do you have any advice? Well, we all have to grow up sometime. Better they see it for themselves rather than learn about it on the streets. So Colin, have you had a chance to sit on any knees and get any interviews with anyone? Pardon? I said, have you had the chance to sit on anyone's knees and get any interviews from it? Actually, I said it better the first time. <laughs> Colin, to, to get off the subject, have you been good this year? Oh, I tell you, I've been better than most. <laughs> well, is it easy for you to hear anything? Because apparently there arose a real clatter. Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> I tell you, this is amazing. And you've got to be careful when they're flying overhead. Can you describe what, what was... What was just happening behind you right there, Colin? Well, perhaps I'll just let the picture speak for itself. It's so hard to describe what's going on. Well, Colin, Colin, it, it looks like you got there just in the nick of time. That is so true. And I should really check that clause in my contract. Yes. Because... <laughs> 